Jim Holly, Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. Well, that's the number 41 of Trey Kennard, and this is his boss, the Team Honda Muscle Milk uh, race manager, Eric Keel. Unfortunately, Trey's not here. It's going to be a while before he comes back. And I know in the past with Honda, especially Trey, when Andrew Short was riding for you, Andrew's hurt, you moved up, Trey Kennard, and look where he's at now. He's a factory rider. Are you guys going to do something similar to that as the season goes on? Yeah, right now, Trey's focused on his rehab, you know, coming back. Uh, he had a uh, terrible injury there, and he's uh, going to take the time right now to heal up. And uh, during that time, we're looking at our options for uh, another rider. Of course, uh, as we've done in the past, you know, you pointed out, we, uh, we look to our teams, um, our partner teams, like the Geico Honda team, um, Troy Lee's team in the past. And, uh, you know, we uh, look for the younger guys, you know, give them opportunity to come up and showcase uh, their skills a little bit. So we're looking at all of our options right now. You know, Eli Tomac is doing a great job on the West Coast in that lights, uh, lights class. And Justin Barsa did a great job for us last year in the outdoors, you know, when he came in and helped out. And uh, so we're looking at all those opportunities and uh, we're going to come up with a good plan um, for some of the East Coast races. You mentioned a guy like Eli Tomac, and I've been around the sport a long time. It's hard when you got a guy leading the championship out in the West. You're going, man, do we put him on a 450 and take a chance of him maybe getting off and getting hurt, and then we lose that championship on the West? I mean, it's a hard decision to make to pick a guy. It is a hard decision, and uh, you know these guys. Uh, people don't realize probably they're they're training, you know, five days a week, and. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of things that can happen out there, not only at the races, but uh, you know while you're training and practicing. Um, but uh, you know, these guys are real professionals and uh, they work hard at what they're doing. So I think that uh, we would put a good plan together um, if uh, if Eli decides to do some riding for us. Uh, and uh, we're going to look at all the options and uh, make the best plan. Something else, uh, you know, in today's era with the sponsorship dollars and everything like that, I mean, it's pretty much a, you got to have two bikes out there running. Yeah, a lot of times uh, there is pressure from the sponsors. Um, right now we have really good partners working with us with uh, Muscle Milk. And uh, we, you know, right now we, it's not really a, a, a pressure from sponsors for us to get somebody on the bike, but to kind of keep... Uh, you know, keep the bikes out there, keep developing, keep uh, looking for, uh, for new ideas and uh, keep it fresh. And if we can help build confidence um, within some of our other riders, uh, and then that's what we'll do. Well, and something else that you had mentioned, you know, a lot of guys just can't go from a lights and go to this bike. I mean, you need a couple, two or three weeks to get them acclimated to the team and the bike and the setup. Yeah, definitely. We'll go do some testing. Um, you know, I think that a lot of this is bike setup. I think just getting the riders comfortable, giving them some time to get used to the equipment. So we'll, uh, we'll definitely look at the, the right choice, uh, do some testing, and then uh, we'll come out with a good plan.